We stand amongst the relics of our ancestors' achievements. Ancestors who by nature we as a species desire to surpass and humiliate with our own greatness. The pharaohs ensured their immortality when they left their mark upon the earth. Many lives were lost during the construction of the pyramids. Lives that meant nothing. For where one slave fell, there was always another who could take his place. The Aztecs, too, built mighty temples upon which they appeased their gods with slaughter. And the Black Death left us with bones that our European ancestors, they saw fit to assemble into churches. All of these structures still stand, while the people who built them are nothing more than statistics and dust. What this room teaches us, what history teaches us, is that no great structure can exist and endure without great sacrifice. But Winter Court does not believe that another smear need be left on humanity for the sake of creating something greater than ourselves. We do not believe that it is only brutality which leads to immortality. That is why we brought you Elysia. Through Elysia we leave behind more than the shadow of an imprint. We leave behind our memories, digital copies of our very souls, and we do so without sacrifice. But, Professor, is Alicia healthy for those left behind after the death of a loved one? If we did not believe so, the system would be terminated immediately. On the contrary, our figures show the grieving process is not at all hindered by Alicia. Is it ethical to turn memories into a commodity? Should Alicia not be accessible by everyone? You exaggerate. We believe that all souls have worth. Only people whose souls are deemed harmful are refused entry to Alicia. And, and such instances are rare. We will not deprive everyone of Alicia because of the actions of a small few. That is ethical. Ladies and gentlemen, we stand at the helm of the single most important development in the history of the human race.